and I not have been born here. I eat differently, talk differently, have a different religion, different education, but I am Australian. My name is Leslie Wayner, Leslie meaning garden of folly, and Wayner derived from Germany, usually pronounced Weiner, but I pronounce it Wayner. This is my family. I have lived happily in Australia for 43 years. There was, however, a reason I left South Africa. I was born in South Africa in 1948 in a city called Johannesburg, Transvaal, located in the middle of South Africa. From the outset, people see beautiful land, kind people, amazing food, and lots of colour. But in my world, it was also known for apartheid, poverty, racism, and war. I went to school in Varhada and I grew up with the young Zulu children as they lived near my father's hotel. I used to spend a lot of time with the Zulus because of apartheid. It was unlawful and wrong in the eyes of the African members of society. It was very hard because you were doctrinated with the fact that black people were lower than white people and were second class citizens. My best friend was a black child that played with me at the hotel. After that we stopped being friends and because of local racial wars I was devastated. Most of the Afrikaans in town and in South Africa supported Hitler during the Second World War. Their first hate was black men, their second hate was Jewish people. Unfortunately, I fell into that category. I didn't trust many people because I was beaten up many times at school and discriminated because of my religion. The racism stopped as soon as I moved to Australia. I felt very safe and welcome. At this time, Australia was welcoming a lot of people because they wanted to build their population, so I didn't even need a visa. I can see that this time introduced much of the multiculturalism that is in Australia now. However, I came to realise the past that came with being an Australian. I had apartheid in South Africa and they had the massacres of Indigenous people in Australia. When I found out about the racial racism towards Aboriginals, I was upset, but I realised all the work that had been done in this time to fix it. A national identity refers to a personal identity of a political community that marks one nation from another. Nations typically emphasise a shared culture and heritage and I think this is what Australia strives to do. Although our past is brutal and sad, it has led to a shared understanding of multiculturalism throughout Australia. Differences is what brings us together and makes up our Australian identity. This was the start of our identity being shaped as multiple cultures and people make up Australia. In primary schools today we see a great change regarding racism and equality. Since Rudd's sorry speech in 2008, people are reminded of our connectedness regarding past racism. This also gave children a chance to accept every peer at school as more diversity was introduced. After being bashed up, judged, being forced to judge, I finally am free to live in a multicultural Australia. This is why so many people want to live here, because of our identity reflects freedom. Created using Powtoon.